Good afternoon, Kelly Williams, and welcome to day 41 of the Command 66-Day Challenge. We are back on our desktops in the Command platform, and we are still in Local Insights, showing you a couple of other cool things that we can do within the Insights program. So um, let's say we want to search for a location that we are traveling to. So for example, I am going to Boca Raton to go to the Spring Masterminds coming up, and if I put in Boca Raton, I can start seeing all of the different insights that have already been put in for Boca. So let's just say um, now I want to find a good restaurant. Well, I could search through all of these until I found a restaurant, and that might take me a significant amount of time so far. I've only seen Chipotle and here's Tilted Kilt. And yet, what if I could filter for just restaurants? If I click on filter, I can then choose a category and say I want just the restaurants. I want to click on apply filters and then next I want to click on this gray filter button to close this menu and all of a sudden now I can see a series of restaurants all around Boca Raton there at least central Boca and I can start going through so I've got Abe and Louie's, Capitol Grill, Rocco's Tacos. Something I'm starting to see is that there's one agent and this is just kind of random. I don't know Jonathan Alexander and yet I can see that he's doing a good job so far with at least restaurant insights. And maybe I wanna know more about, well, hey, I like the restaurants that he's choosing. Maybe I wanna know more about the insights he's created that aren't restaurants. So I can click on filter again. I can click on clear all filters and then choose an agent. Let's put in Jonathan, Let's see. I'm guessing that he's probably doing more than just restaurants. So let's click on apply filters and then we will click on the filter to close that out. And sure enough, you've got an elementary school. We've got, um, let's see, what else do we have in here? I know we probably have more than just the restaurants. Let's try that filter one more time. So Jonathan Alexander as the agent and Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't search this area. So that's probably what it was. Let's say Jonathan, and you can see how it's just zoomed in on my map on the left, just this little area. I bet that if I apply filters and then close the filter screen and then search this area again, there it is. Now I've got all, I had a guess that Jonathan was probably doing a lot of insights. Here are a lot more different insights that Jonathan has put in. So he's got some uh, cinemas in here, a lot of restaurants, a bakery, a sweet shop. He's even got an apartment, um, a fashion mall or fashion store. So a great way to really find out. A lot of times we are looking for referral partners that are going to become a neighborhood expert. And we know a lot of times that happens on Facebook and really trusting other people. Um, I think that insights can be a great way for you to kind of research that agent and see, well, one, how tied are they in to command and the insights program? And two, how well do they know the different things that are happening in their area? So I don't know Jonathan, and yet if I had a referral for Boca Raton and I came into insights and did a search for him by agent name, right? Filter by agent name to see how many insights he'd really put in. It might be a good way for me to know how tied in he is into his community, at least via insights. So I'd highly recommend that if you are not putting in insights in your community that you begin to do so. Again, remember using original content, your photos that you have taken, and uh, put in descriptions of them. We know that eventually the insights program is going to transfer over to the consumer app, and it can certainly help you become a neighborhood expert in the eyes of both fellow agents and consumers when you're involved in the insight program. So that's today's 41st day challenge of the command 66 day challenge. I hope you're all having a fantastic Monday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.